Haven't done one of these in a while. <coughs> this game's phenomenal. It's, uh, if you know anything about programming, you know that the uh, amount of programming needed just to make any one of these scenes is outrageous. And then to make it moving, totally interactive. Uh, give you an example. I can just back up here. I could have just continued on, but instead, come here. Who will kill that spider? From there, the entire game goes according to that. Go back. Continue on. So you have <coughs> any number of choices. Unlimited choices, actually. Everything you do, everywhere you go, there is something, there's something going on. It's uh, pretty much like real life. <laughs> Not really. In as much as it, it is a, uh, it's a realm. It is something that is phenomenal as far as uh, what they have done with the programming. Take one of the griffins. The griffins, you can fly to different areas. It saves you time to get there. <coughs> The camera angles, of course, again, unlimited. Doesn't matter what angle you watch from, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, and all of this is actually working independent of you as well as along with you. All of these things. are going on in the game. Everything that we pass, everything that we see is going on even though I move on all of the stuff that I pass by in this flight continues on because one of the million players that they claim to have or whoever, uh, however number happens to be on at that moment, they're all interacting with the same things. So you have players that are in these areas that I'm flying over that are playing and interacting with the characters that we see. I'm going to say that programming is absolutely phenomenal. Some friends. Actually, it's a uh, what they refer to as a quest. It's a challenge. You go and do it, and you get points. These guys were. I had to find the cages that they were in and free them. And as I went along, they would they would follow. Each one that I freed would follow me and help me find the next one. There's a uh, giant up on the hill. You can get uh, rewards for killing some of the bad guys. Of course, they're not actually bad guys. They're just uh, part, of the, part of the tunes involved. You can always use the reward. It's uh, coins that you can use to get materials to continue on. This guy's once in on the game, so. And they do totally interact. Again, 
matter what I do, no matter where I go, there's something going on. And the curious thing about it is it would be going on whether I was here or not. Like I say, a lot like real life in that this game, there are also, I don't even know how many realms there are, probably a hundred. Each realm is actually a server, it's a, it's a, it's a different, it, excuse me, a different individual server. That is, it's a provider of the game. Uh, you can, I have uh, about 42 different characters like this in 12 of the realms, but I, I'm pretty sure there's probably 50 realms. Uh, that's 50 servers that are all running this game at the same time. Going down here, there's a uh, part of this quest uh, of the picking up the Bravo Company is done in this area. There are cages that you have to get one of the, one of the characters out of. The key that unlocks the cage is I don't know if you can let me see. I can go out there far enough. Right there, you can see the the knife. That's where the key's at. It's on that stump out there. And I don't need it anymore because I've got the guys, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliberately get myself killed here. See how long I can last. I'll go into... He's not being seen right now. He's in a stealth mode. These are uh, wards, and whoops, <laughs> they found him. The uh, if I was fortunate enough to be able to kill off all of these, these back here would then come alive. They all interact with one another. They interact with where you are and what you are. See if they go back or if they they give up on. No, they found me. <laughs> yeah. I've seen characters that can beat them. Have to go to the graveyard. <coughs> And go back to where I was killed, and then it resurrects me. And continue on. One of the good things in the game. You might get killed, but you're not stopped. You just simply resurrect later. Of course. And if you were killed, they wouldn't be able to charge you money to play the game, would they? And they do. I have a resurrect here. I'll resurrect away from them. Guys are back. I have to, let's see, they killed my pet. So I will have to resurrect my pet. There are <clears throat> any number of pets that you can that you can get. They're spread throughout. The different lands. Bring up a map. This is where we are, or where we are, where I am, and there. Uh, Alther's Mill. 
can zoom out. This is in this land, which is the Eastern Kingdoms. You have the Eastern Kingdoms over here. Pandera, uh, let's see, the new one. Each time they come out with a new area or a new continent, it just expands the game as to where you can go and what characters you are because there are pandas involved in this one. And of course, they can charge you for each update. <coughs> and it's not cheap. Uh, Kalimdor and Northland. You can take boats between. You can fly between. There are two different sides to the characters. <coughs> this particular one is uh, this is Laplander. He's he's a night elf. Each character or each type of individual has different characteristics that give it advantages over others. But they're all pretty well. They're all pretty well equal. Uh, this is an alliance. And then they have another side, which are supposedly the enemies of the alliance, which are the Horde. I have a few Horde characters, but... I find alliance easier to level. Level simply means that you gain up in in uh, your character's powers and whatnot. This is a level 23, which is pretty low. They get up to 85s, and 85 uh, <coughs> is kind of cool. They can fly. You can fly after 60. This is a very interesting game. They say that people get obsessed with it. I suppose somebody could. I do it because it's a good time passer. Since our bowling alley burned down, we didn't we didn't go, we didn't go bowling anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, that's one of the uh, guys that we killed that was up on the hill. Right now what it's doing, although you can't see it, it has, to the individual that is right here, this person, is controlling it. And it picked up a rock that was in the middle of the road we can't see it because I've already done the quest. And by doing the quest, all of it disappears. So it appears differently to the individuals that haven't done the quest. There would be a rock there with people caught under it. This is an 85. The dragon. That's the mount, just like my tiger mount. This is its their mount. They are an 85 night elf druid. Uh, druids being another one of the type of of characters. It's hunters, druids. Uh, oh my God, I don't even remember how many there are. <coughs> hunters. I'm going to take another flight. Give you an idea. We're going quite a ways away here. Uh, how far can I fly? Let's go up to Iron Forge. Iron Forge is a large city further up on the continent. And by flying there, I'll show you the different parts of the realm, or yeah, of this realm, this server. It's quite a distance, so of course it, it's actually part of the game. Remember, uh, this is what I find absolutely fantastic about the game. Everything that we're, the, everything that we're looking at here, that the, the uh, tune is flying over, 
is actually going on, like I said before, in the area that I'm flying over. If there are people down there like this tune that are fighting with animals that are down there or enemies that are down there, whatever, or just looking for quests, things to find, they're doing it as we're flying over and it's all interactive. I can't get off of the Griffin. Well, yeah, actually I can't get off of the Griffin while it's in flight. There is a glitch in the game if I if I log out and then log back in, it'll drop me off at the next nearest uh, Griffin Master, which is, which is the, the place that you find these things at. If I went out right now, there's a Griffin Master master here in, in uh, Windstorm. Stormwind City. And uh, it would have gone in there and dropped me off. It works sometimes. I make mistakes. I hit the wrong one and I'm going in the wrong direction. So I can, I can log out, come back in, and I don't, don't get too far away. Uh, Iron Forge is, is a castle like, like the one we just went over. It is further up in the continent, quite a ways away. This area that we're flying over right now is the training area for Eastern Alliance tunes. You start out there and they, they bring you up to a level 5 by having you do small little quests, kill some little things, uh, find some stuff. Of course, most of the game is violent. It is killing. But then on the other hand, it's only tunes. This is... a very dangerous area for Alliance people. <clears throat> there are, that is a, I don't know, a very high level, those are spiders, uh, little killers, they're not little, they're big. If, if a tune is a lot more powerful than you, they simply put up question marks, they don't show you how much stronger they are. But if I was down there, I've been there before. Uh, you die pretty quick. There's nothing you can do about it. They're just more powerful than you. So there is a challenge to the to the game. It's not it's not just you go ahead and and do it. Uh, you actually have to work into being able to do it. This is uh, Cronaris. Different characters come from these different lands. Uh, they have gnomes. Gnomes come from this area. They're little tiny gnomes. This is Iron Forge. Now, here again, everything that we're going over, everywhere that we've gone over so far, is actively being played in by other people. It's just uh, outrageous, I think. They shut down every Tuesday for a few hours to rework the game.
nice graphics, very active, and of course very interactive. And I'm lost. Oh, now I know where I am. When you first get in here, it's funny. I think it's funny. Because you do get lost. I <laughs> mean, seriously. This is something called an auction house. You can go in, contact, uh, and bring up various items that are for sale. Of course, the items are for sale according to your level. These are weapons. I can't get any weapon that is over a 23. Can't get any armor that's over a 23. Everything's done in levels. Supposedly a motivator to get you to level. Maybe some it is. I look at it like the game is, you're playing the game no matter what level you are. There are challenges, there's fun to it. It's interesting. First months, first months I spent uh, just going around looking at the thing. Because there are so many different areas to go in. <clears throat> they are different. Hunters have the advantage of getting pets. They have pets like this spider. Actually, uh, our help. Let's see, let's get up. They can uh, help you by killing your enemies or things that attack you. And most everything that uh, most all of the animals, anyway, can be made into pets. Again, according to their levels. They have to be a lower level than you for you to be able to make them a pet. For obvious reasons. If I want, if I find an animal that I would like to make a pet out of, like this pig. Boars are pretty good, they're fast. They do a lot of things, but for the most part, they just bite. But, I can zero in on the spider, which is easy to get its, uh, say, abandoned, approved, and it disappears. <coughs> then, I just put this, I hit tame, and it'll take this little pig and make it my pet. It's larger because it was like a 5 or 6 level, and now it's a 23. If you ever get lost, don't know where you are, don't know how to get back, or you get, <laughs> as I've done before, you can get down into a crevice. You can get down into a crevice and not be able to get out. And if you get down into a very slippery, icy crevice, crevice or a hole in the ground that you fell into or thought you might go in to explore and you can't get back out, then of course they can't have you. Little snow tigers are cute. Uh, they can't have you stuck there. So you go here to one of your backpacks has something called the Heartstone or Heart Heartstone. And you can right click it no matter where you are in the game. Except if you're dead. But if 
you can resurrect. It brings you back to the spot that you've designated as your home. This is an inn. <clears throat> this is an inn in uh, Goldshire. I use it because it's centrally located. These are all other individuals with their tunes. They like to gather in Goldshire, the lower levels gather in Goldshire to challenge each other. That's what this flag thing is. It's a challenge to uh, <coughs> duel. You don't kill anybody, you get close to killing, and then I find it not all that interesting. You don't get any points, and usually the people that challenge you, they are so much stronger than you, there's not a chance of you beating them. You accept it, basically knowing that they're going to beat you. I still don't understand that one why they would have the need to win instead of the need to challenge themselves and find people that they might actually lose to. It's, uh... And this is where we started out at. This is <coughs> Stormwind City. A little idea of, of uh, how it goes. These, most of these that are running along the sides here, standing there, the guards and whatnot, those are tunes that are part of the game. You can interact with them like these if you need some information. They will, uh, i got to get closer, come up with this little thing over here and various questions. And they will put up the answer, they'll give you an answer in words, and then if it's a location that you're looking for, they uh, put it on the map that I showed you earlier, you can pull it up. So these, excuse me, uh, Stormwind City <coughs> is where most of the higher level tunes hang out. <coughs> this isn't really the most uh, uh, active. This isn't the most active of realms. It's a pretty good one. But there are realms that absolutely huge numbers in. Let's see if I can switch one real quick. I'll log out, go to Change Realm, that's a good one, uh, Emerald Dream is a good one, Moonguard, Moonguard's full right now, which supposedly makes it hard to get into, but they aren't. Pixelator, He's, both of these guys are in... Uh, Goldshire, probably. Interesting. Yep, that's where the noise is coming from. We're going to get up here, get rid of my pet so he's out of the way. Here again. These are all, as they're dueling, uh, these are all tunes. These are all people, individuals that are in this particular realm with their various characters. This is a role-playing realm. So, 
the people are not, well they do quest to level, they come into the, the different places, especially here in Goldshire, they come in here to play roles. Uh, they pretend that they're married, they pretend this is a killing room, at least that's what I call it. You can see why, those are all bones. And this guy over here with the purple above him, that's a horrid character. Enemy. You can get into an enemy's area by getting into the area and if you wait five minutes you become not really friendly but they you don't automatically get killed by the other you don't you're not attacking anybody you have to do the attacking to then break the uh, break the friend ship been a lot of killing going on in here. Probably all horde bones. Well, not all horde, but mostly. Again, it's a role playing. So that's what they do. Some of the mounts are phenomenal. I mean, these guys have, they really really have great imaginations and spend a tremendous amount of time programming these things in. Every motion that these people make is interacting with me and interacting with every other character on this in this scene and actually every other character no matter where they are. Uh, games have just become absolutely phenomenal. This is not the only online game. And they are basically never ending. You, you can go in this game, I've been playing a year and a half, you can just keep going and going and going. And if, if you have the patience, which I don't, to keep leveling, You can just keep going, and you'll never see this. You could never see the same spot twice. You, you could literally do that. There's so many, so many areas like this one. I think that's part of the reason that I am interested in the game is the fact that it just is. It's uh, fun. And for me, extremely interesting. That's it. Fly away. Go see if I can't make some money. So I can buy some more equipment.